Welcome back to our politics. Now, journalists across Europe are standing up for their Italian counterparts after two Italian politicians verbally attacked the press. Flash mobs popped up today in several European cities, including this one in Brussels. The protesters are angry about comments from Deputy Prime Minister Luigi Di Maio and prominent five-star politician Alessandro Di Battista. They referred to journalists as, quote, jackals, whores, and spreaders of fake news, end quote. Now, all for reporting on the case of a mayor of Rome who had been accused of an abuse of power. All right, I am joined by Ignacio Corrao, an Italian MEP from the Five Star Movement, and Darren McCaffrey, our political editor, is back with us. I'll start with you, Ignacio. I mean, these are words that are, you know, not very proper for politicians, and these are people from your party as well. What do you have to say about their behavior? <laughs> Well, we, we, can, we can discuss about the, the wording, you know, we can use other wording, but in Italy there is a problem. We have not to see the wording, but we have to see the problem. In Italy we have a big problem with You don't have a problem with the wording? I mean, yeah, with, we can talk about the wording, but when uh, Alessandro Battista used a very strong wording, he wanted to say that journalists in Italy, they don't have, to free, they don't, they don't have the freedom to express their idea because the political line of all newspapers is, is given by the property, and the property is linked with political parties. This is a big problem with information we have in Italy, and everybody has to know that. You know, the striking case of Silvio Berlusconi, many times prime minister and owner of half the media of Italy, but on the other side, the Benedetti, it was the membership card of the Democratic Party and was owning a big part of the media also. So we have to we have to face that and we have to say that the information and the you know the, right. the newspapers are used it, to it, influence public opinion in order to reach in terms so, of you but, but in, in saying that that there may well be a point in that and that's true of newspapers sure, across can, across the world. But you, you have to recognize way. that if you're gonna have a debate if you want to make that point using language like that. You don't is hit not below acceptable. the belt, basically. Well, but we don't, we never, we would never use this language with the real journalists, investigative journalists who fight to uh, find, to search the truth, are always defended by us. They, we will always be in the first line to defend the journalists who do their job. But we cannot say that the journalists who give but away that, that, their that, that, thoughts... That could also mean journalists you agree with or journalists you don't agree with. Do no, you know it's I mean? not a matter of agreement. We don't we don't want journalists to talk, uh, to talk nicely about the Five Star Movement. We want the journalists to do their job. They have to find, search and tell people the truth. In Italy, journalists are giving opinions who are not their own, but they are given by the property of the newspapers. And the newspapers are owned in Italy by businessmen. I talked about, about Berlusconi, there is Casta Girone. So, so you're saying there is there no free press in Italy? There is no free press. And this is the well, opposite of okay. what... Darren, I'll let you... Uh, I mean, say. All, all I would say is, first of all, politicians uh, shouldn't tell journalists what, how to do their job or what makes a good journalist a bad journalist. That's not the role of uh, politicians in a, in a healthy democracy. Second of all, get, newspapers are by their very essence businesses and they're owned by business leaders. Um, and they are often linked to the world of politics. That is true the world over and has been for a very long period of time. Um, but the whole point of when you live in a world of the free press is that you accept that. You accept that. Now, if you've got problems with the editorial line a newspaper takes, or indeed the right. argument that the journalist takes, you take them up on the issue rather than what they're saying. Right. No? I mean, no, no, the, I mean, this I, is, I mean, this is going Italy to be... Italy is not the same of Great Britain or France. This is going to be a long... Do you, do you agree with me that it's not normal that Silvio Berlusconi, many times Prime Minister, is the owner of Alfred right, I mean, you made your point on, on oh, no. journalists. I but, do want to ask you something, sorry. I just want, we have to go, but I have your yes or no question. Talk about the Italian budget. Do you think that the government will change position? Yes or no only? No. Okay, and, so Italian and, government is not changing <laughs> their position. We don't have time for more, It's a changement of Italy. It's well, not changing position.